Hi there, I'm Fernando. Getting started with the self-hosted version of OpenReplay is very straightforward. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the self-hosted version of OpenReplay in Google Cloud. So let's go. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up a new instance. For that, we'll go to the Compute Engine section and then we'll create a new instance there. Keep in mind that when setting up your virtual machine, we recommend a certain minimum set of requirements, and that is two virtual CPUs, eight gigabytes of RAM, and 50 gigabytes of storage. You can certainly set that up all manually, or you can select the N2 series, and from it, the standard to machine type will be more than enough. The other things to change are the boot disk, which for it we're going to need 50 gigabytes and not the standard 10 and we're also going to change the operative system to be Ubuntu and we're going to select the version 2004 which is the recommended Ubuntu version. After that just click select and then before clicking on the create button make sure that you check the allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic on your instance. Once that is ready Simply click on the Create button and wait for the instance to be set up for you. Now, this process might take a while, so sit back and wait. But once it's ready and you see the green tick there, click on the SSH button so a model can open up and it will give you a web version of a terminal with which will let you access directly the instance. And from there, you can go and start installing OpenReplay. And for that, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to clone the public repo for Apple Replay. And then you're going to go into the Helm chart folder, which is within the script folder inside the repository and execute the init.sh script. Before doing that, you're going to have to declare a domain name environment variable. The content of that variable is going to be the actual domain that you're going to use to reach OpenReplay. In my case, I'm using openreplay.testdomain.com, but in, the, in your case, it can be anything that you want. Once the script is done running, then uh, OpenReplay will, would have been installed in the system. That said, we can still use it. We still have to configure a few more things, but we're getting close to the end. So the next step will be to configure an SSL connection for our instance. There are two ways we can do that. We can either go with a load balancer in front of the instance and configure the SSL certificate directly within it and then point your DNS A record to it or simply configure the SSL certificate within our instance and then point the A record of our DNS server directly to our instance. Because it's simpler to do the second option, I'm going to show you here in this video how to do that and even how to create a custom certificate with the tools provided by OpenReplay. But you're free to go to our tutorial section and then read the details on how to do option number one if you want a load balancer if in your setup. To start with this part, I'm going to use the certmanager.sh script that we can find within the Helm charts folder. It will ask me for my domain name and I have to enter the exact same one I used when I installed OpenReplay. And then it will create and install a local certificate that I can use for testing purposes. If you're setting this for a production environment, follow our guide on our tutorial section that will show you exactly what to do with your certificate file that you should have gotten from a valid certificate authority. With the certificate configured and ready, the next step is to go and grab the public IP of our instance and then configure the A record for our domain name using the Cloud DNS service. In this example, I'm setting everything up from scratch, so I'm going to create a zone and within the zone, I'm going to set the record pointing directly to the IP of the instance. The zone we create will be public and all default values are perfect. 
you just have to give it a name and then enter the DNS name or the URL of your site. In my case, I'm going to be using operreplay.testdomain.com as the DNS name and the rest we can just leave it as the, it is. Just simply click on create to be sent back to the previous window. And with the song created, we can then click on add record set and at the A record, we'll not add anything on DNS name because we already have the operreplay.testdomain.com set up. We'll simply paste the IP address in the correct field and click on create. With the DNS record ready and the SSL certificate in place, all we have to do now is go back to the SSH model window and edit the vars.yaml file, which we can find already within the Helms chart folder, which we are already there, so it's really handy. Now, keep in mind that this YAML file contains a lot of configuration, but you're just going to have to enable two flags. So go to, into the Ingress Nginx section and search for the SSL redirect and force SSL redirect keys. Both need to be turned true and then just save and close the file. The last step is to simply reinstall Open Replace Nginx and we can do that using a script found within the Helm chart folder, the Open Replay dash CLI tool. And we can use the dash capital I attribute to reinstall the whole thing. And with that concludes the installation of Open Replay. You can see that now we can go to openreplay.testomain.com slash sign up and create a first user. Note that for the self-hosted version, this is the only user that will be able to sign up into the platform. The rest of them will have to be invited by you, the admin of the platform. And that is all you need to get your self-hosted version of Open Replay into GCP. Remember, you first need to set up the infrastructure, which means setting up the instance, then configuring the DSL SSL certificate, and finally configuring the DNS A record to point to the instance. Second, you have to install Open Replay, which means cloning the repo, running the installation command, generating the certificate if you don't have one already from a valid certificate authority, updating the configuration files to configuring the HTTP to HTTPS redirection, and finally reinstalling Open Replay's Nginx. And that's it. If you have questions or doubts about how to proceed, reach out to us on our Slack channel with the link in the description, and uh, our devs will be more than happy to help you. So, See you on the next one.